Well, in these days, a school does need to have an internet connection to function. In September, the internet at Brooks de Bartolo Collegiate High School in Tampa grounded to a halt. The principal is fed up that Frontier Communications has not fixed the issues. That's when she knew she better call Bankin. And investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. Stacey, this is a frustrating one. Frontier has been to this school 11 times so far. They've even offered to ramp up speeds for free for a few months. But the principal tells me that was a Band-Aid solution, and she was told recently to pay up in order to keep that speed. We're telling our story of what's going on in the school with our network. Principal Christine Bennett just wants the Internet to work at Brooks de Bartolo Collegiate High School. After Irma, something must have happened, and it hasn't been with our equipment. We've had third-party IT vendors come in, verify our equipment. We've had at least 11 frontier service calls. The biggest headache? Student testing. We'd had some retakes that happened in the fall for students where we might have had a load of just 30 students. And those students were sitting for an hour just trying to get their tests to load. Internal logs show slow to no speed. Did we go down to nothing? Frontier couldn't figure it out, so it bumped up service to mega speeds for free just while techs investigated. Service is decent now, but relief is temporary unless the school starts paying for the top tier service. For me, it's kind of like, you know, you're paying for service on a car, problem hasn't been fixed, but now your mechanic wants you to pay more for the service that you haven't received. Good thing for Bennett, I have Frontier on speed dial. They say now the problem is Frontier has given them a Band-Aid fix. Before I left the school, Frontier called back. In short, they don't know why these problems started. They don't think it's on their end, but they promise to keep investigating. And the best part? Frontier agreed to let the school keep the fast speeds, at least until February testing is over. I went back in to deliver this bit of good news. He says they're not going to charge you in February and you get to keep what you have. Oh, thank goodness. So, so at least we're good through February. Now, Frontier tells me this problem has nothing to do with Hurricane Irma, although the school really thinks it does because they said nothing was wrong until the hurricane came through. Who knows? It's so strange, too, that they yeah. can't find the culprit or really get to the bottom of it, but paying more doesn't seem like should be the answer. Right. Uh, is Frontier still investigating? They are still investigating. They said they want to make sure everybody knows that they do take this very seriously. They're trying to figure out what's wrong. And, you know, it didn't take a lot of convincing to convince them to go ahead and give them this little reprieve here. They're going to keep this mega speed of 300 over 300 through February. So they'll get to do their testing, and then we'll have to see where it's going to go from there. So there'll definitely be a follow-up here. We're going to keep on it. There has to be a solution here. Well, for this and you know how frustrating it is getting slow internet speed yes. for anyone dealing with An it, let alone a school. An hour to log on for a test? I mean, no. that would have test anxiety big uh, time. Yes, over the top. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> and if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin, the number 1-855-BANKIN.